Hey friends, Tony here from Teal Yarn Crafts and welcome to another fun and free crochet tutorial. This time we're making my Drexel beanie pattern. This is a bulky weight crochet hat covered in post stitches and popcorns and I can't wait to make it with you. If you love crochet tutorials as much as I do, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. This video is created in collaboration with my friends at Joanne in celebration of National Craft Month. All month long, Joanne is offering great deals on the supplies you love and the crafts that you want to try. Check out joanne.com and the Joanne app for more details. As we work up our beanie pattern today, I encourage you to follow along with the free pattern, which is on my blog, toycblog.com. You can also find a low-cost, printer-friendly version of this pattern in my shop, toyarncrafts.com. Links to both of these resources are below. To make the Drexel beanie, we're going to need some bulky weight yarn. Today, I'm using Yummy from the Hook Nook Collection, which is available exclusively at Joanne Stores and joanne.com. Yummy is a level 5 bulky weight acrylic yarn with just a touch of wool for softness and for strength. The color I'm using is called Blue Skies and I'm going to need one full ball and part of a second ball to complete my project. I'm also going to need a 5mm crochet hook, a 6mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle. The faux fur pom-pom is optional as is this leatherette tag but I think they're both just cute little things that make the project really come together. Now let's get started. To start our hat we're going to grab our 5mm hook and our yarn. Make a slip knot just like that and tighten down on our hook and we're going to start by chaining nine so there's one two three four five six seven eight and nine and then we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook in each of the remaining chains so we'll end up with eight chains so there's one two, three, four, there's five, six, seven, and eight chain, or eight single crochets rather. And so we're making the brim here, we're going to chain one and turn, and we're going to find just the back loop of this next single crochet. So there's a front loop, there's the back loop, we're going to single crochet in the back loop of each of our single crochet stitches. And this is going to create a ribbing for us, which will be the bottom of our hat. So you'll just want to continue to count to make sure you don't lose any stitches so our ribbing stays nice and even. This hat is worked from the bottom up. So we'll start with the ribbing, pick up stitches along the ribbing, and then work the body of the hat. So to do our ribbing, we just end the row by chaining one, turning, and single crocheting in the back loop of each single crochet stitch. And we're going to do that until we have 61 total rows. So let's do one more row together, chain one, turn our work, single crochet in the back loop only, all the way down the line. There's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep going until you have 61 total rows of ribbing. So I've completed all of my ribbing. I have 61 total rows. So I want to insert my hook into my loop here. I'm going to bring the end of my work, my starting chain here, behind my working row. And I'm going to grab my yarn and I want to slip stitch these ends together. So I'm going to chain one, work in the back loop of this single crochet, and then into the first chain. Yarn over and pull through all three loops back loop of the single crochet into the next chain, yarn over, pull through all of the loops, back loop into the chain, yarn over and pull through. And I should be able to do that eight times. One more here, pull through, 
And now I'm going to actually drop my five millimeter hook and I'm gonna move on with my six millimeter hook for the body of my hat. And the reason that I do that is because a five millimeter hook makes sure we have a nice snug brim and the six millimeter hat makes sure that we have a slightly looser body of our hat. So we're going to start by chaining two. This does not count as a stitch. And we're going to half double crochet in the end of each row. You just kind of have to go by feel. Know that there are two rows in these grooves. So there's, this is three and four, five and six. And we're just going to continue around the entire body of the hat. And by the time we're done, we'll want to have 61 half double crochet stitches. So of course, to do a half double crochet, we start by yarning over our hook, pull up a loop in the stitch, yarn over, pull through all three loops on our hook. Continue until you have 61 total stitches, and then join me back here for round two of our hat. I've made it back around to the end. I have 61 total stitches. So now I'm going to join with a slip stitch in the top of my turning chain. So that starting chain two, I'm gonna join right there. Just keep in mind that that does not count as a stitch. That's just gonna be our seam on our project. Now we're gonna chain two, and we're actually gonna turn our work to work on the inside of our hat. And this entire hat is worked in turned rounds. So now we're going to just half double crochet in each half double crochet around. So just in each stitch, real simple here, just to start things off and kind of build up the foundation of our hat. We're gonna work all the way around. Of course, you're gonna end up with 61 half double crochet stitches and then join in the top of your turning chain. We're gonna turn our work and then join me back here for round three. Now we're ready to start round three. I've done my chain two already. I'm gonna half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. There's one and two. And then I'm gonna front post treble crochet around each of the next two stitches, two rows down. So this is one row, there's two rows down. Yarn over twice, insert your hook from front to back to front around that stitch, two rows below. Yarn over and pull up the loop. I've got four loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's a front post treble crochet around the first stitch. Yarn over twice, find the next stitch right here, two rows down. Insert from front to back to front around that stitch. Yarn over and pull up the loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to skip the two stitches that are behind that. So they're right here. We're gonna skip those two stitches and place a half double crochet in the following stitch. Cause those two front post stitches count as stitches on this row. So we skip the two stitches behind them. So I half double crocheted in the next stitch and now we're gonna place a popcorn in the following stitch. So the way we're gonna do our popcorns is place five double crochets into the stitch. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Then we're gonna drop our hook, go back to the first double crochet that you put into that stitch, it's right here, insert under both loops of that double crochet, and then put the working loop back on your hook, tighten it down, and pull through. This creates a popcorn, it's a nice uh, big textured piece that's gonna stick out the front of our project. And now we're gonna half double crochet in the following stitch. Now placing shorter stitches around that popcorn really makes it pop out. Repeat this all over again. We're gonna front post treble crochet around the half double crochet two rows down. So this is the next stitch. There's the stitch below it. Yarning over twice, pull up a loop around that stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, through two, and through two. Yarn over twice front post treble crochet around the next stitch as well. Make sure you skip the two stitches behind it and half double crochet in the following stitch. And then popcorn in the next stitch. There's one double crochet, two, three, 
4, and 5. To finish our popcorn, we're going to lift our hook up, insert it into the first double crochet of that five double crochet set, put the working loop back on our hook, tighten it down, and pull through, follow that with a half double crochet. So the repeat of this round is two front posts, treble crochets, two rows below, a half double crochet, a popcorn, and then a half double crochet. Continue that repeat those one, two, three, four, five stitches around until you have four stitches left in your round. Join me back here and I'll show you how we'll finish off round three. Here we are at the end of round three and we have four stitches left. One, two, three, and four. We'll follow up with a front post treble crochet, two rows below in the next two stitches. So there's one, And here's two. And we'll finish up with a half double crochet in each of the last two stitches. One and two. Now we'll know that we did our round right if we have 11 total popcorn. So let's give them a count. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and 11, whew, we did it. Okay, perfect. <laughs> to finish up, we're gonna join with a slip stitch to close our round. I'm just gonna go in the space and not in the stitch. Pull through, we're gonna chain two and turn our work to begin round four. For round four, we're just gonna half double crochet in each stitch around, make it really easy. This is just kind of to reset our round before we go into the next round of our hat. So just half double crochet in each stitch around, join and then come back here for round five. And now we're ready to start round five. I've done my join and my chain two. Let's half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then we want a front post treble crochet around each of the next two stitches, two, row two rows below, which are these two columns here. So yarn over twice, Pull up a loop from front to back to front around that column and complete the front post treble crochet and do the same for the following stitch as well. Be sure that you skip the two stitches behind and half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And that's the repeat for this round. Front post treble crochet around each of the next two stitches, two rows below, which are the post stitches. Here's the second, and half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Front post treble crochets again. There's one, and two. Half double crochet each of the next three. Here's one, two, and three. We'll repeat this until we have four stitches left. Go ahead and do that. Meet me at the end of the round and we'll finish up together. Here we are at the end of our round, four stitches left. So we're gonna start by front post treble crocheting around each of our post stitches. So here's one, pull through two, two and two. Here's the second, pull through two, two and two. Half double crochet in each of the last two stitches. There we go. And then join with a slip stitch in our turning chain. We're gonna chain two and turn. And for our next round, round six, we're just gonna half double crochet in each stitch around and finish up with a join with a slip stitch in the top of the turning chain. So for the remainder of the body of our hat, we're gonna repeat rounds three, four, five, and six till we have 18 total rounds of our hat. Keep working on the body of your hat until you have those 18 rounds done and meet me here for round 19. So I finished up to round 18. I'm ready to start round 19, which will begin our decreases so we can shape the top of our hat. So I've done my chain two, turned my work, and I'm ready to start round 19. And that begins with a half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. There's one and two. And then we're gonna front post treble crochet two together around these posts. It's a lot easier than it sounds. I'm gonna tighten down a little bit so you can really see what I'm doing here. Okay, so we're gonna yarn over our hook twice, 
pull up a loop in the next column, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's still two loops on our hook. We're gonna leave those right here. Yarn over twice again, pull up a loop in our next column, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's three loops left on our hook, yarn over, pull through all three of those loops. So that's now taken two columns and turned it into one column. Real, real simple. So next up, we're gonna half double crochet in the next stitch. Still making sure we missed two stitches back here. I think I only missed one. So let me fix that. So find two stitches behind our post stitches, skip both of those, half double crochet in the next stitch. There we go. Popcorn in the next stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, and five double crochets. Drop our loop, pick it up, tighten down, and pull through. Half double crochet in the next stitch. All right, so let's do our repeat again. So we're gonna front post treble crochet two together around these two columns, yarn over twice, pull up a loop in the first post, yarn over, pull through two, two times, yarn over twice again, pull up a loop in the next column, yarn over, pull through two, and through two again, three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Make sure we skip two stitches behind our posts, half double crochet in the next stitch, popcorn in the following stitch. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Drop our hook, pick up the first stitch, loop back on, tighten down, and pull through, half double crochet in the next stitch. So you're gonna repeat that all the way around. And then uh, when you get to the last four stitches, join me there and we'll finish up together and start round 20. Here at the last four stitches of our hat, which are two columns and two half double crochets, we're going to front post, treble crochet two together over our columns. There's one, two, pull through all three, half double crochet in each of the last two stitches, one and two, just like this. Join with a slip stitch in the top of our turning chain. Now we're gonna chain two and move on to round 20 where we'll turn our work. We're gonna start off by half double crocheting in each of the next three stitches. So here's one, two, and three. And then we're going to half double crochet two together over the next two stitches. Yarn over, pull up a loop in the next stitch, and in the next stitch, we've got four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all four. Half double crochet in the next two, one and two. Half double crochet two together over the next two stitches, one and two. Yarn over, pull through all four. Half double crochet in the next two. Half double crochet two together over the next two. And we're gonna repeat this until we get to the last four stitches of the round. Join me there and then we can move on to the following round. Here at the end of our round, we have one, two, three, four stitches left. And we're just gonna half double crochet in each of those stitches. There's two, three, and four. Join with a slip stitch in our turning chain. We're gonna chain two and turn our work to work on the outside. We're gonna begin this round by half double crocheting in each of the first two stitches. There's one and two and we're gonna front post treble crochet around the stitch two rows below. So remember we joined these two columns, so they are now one. So we're gonna yarn over twice and pull up a loop around that column, just the one time for a treble crochet. So we skip the stitch behind it, and we're gonna half double crochet two together over the next two stitches. Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull up a loop in the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. We're gonna move on to the next post. Front post treble crochet around that. Oh, sorry. Yarning over twice. 
pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, two, and two again. Make sure we skip the stitch behind it. Half double crochet, two together, and the next two stitches. And we're just gonna repeat that around. Front post treble crochet around the posts. Make sure we skip a stitch and half double crochet two together over the next two stitches. And we're just gonna repeat that until we get to the last three stitches of the round, then join me there. We'll move on to the next and final round of our hat. We're at the last three stitches of our round. We're gonna front post treble crochet around this post stitch and half double crochet in each of the last two stitches. There's one and two. Join with a slip stitch, chain two, and turn our work. And this is gonna be the easiest round of the whole hat. We're just gonna half double crochet two together for all of the stitches of the rest of this hat until we get to the very last stitch. So let's go into the home stretch together. Half double crochet two together around the whole rest of the hat. So we've got 27 stitches. We're decreasing down to end up with 14. Half double crochet two together. And the nice thing about working turned rounds like we did in this hat is that everything is nice and lined up, stacked up right on top of each other. Sometimes with crocheted hats, when you work in the round just with the right side facing, you can end up with some leaning in your hat. But with this, all the post stitches will be right on top of each other. All the popcorns are right on top of each other. It's perfect. So just half double crocheting two together around the entire remainder of the hat till we get to the very last stitch. Almost there. We've got our turning chain right there. So we've got one more half double crochet two together. Here we go. We've got our last half double crochet right here. We're just gonna half double crochet right into that stitch. And then we're going to join with a slip stitch in our turning chain. Pull up our loop nice and high. At this point I'm going to zoom out just a smidge so we can do all the finishing together. So I'm going to cut leaving a nice long tail here at the top. Gonna pull that loop up and out of my work. And now I wanna grab my tapestry needle, thread that yarn, and I'm gonna just pull up a loop in each stitch around the top of my hat. So I should end up with 14. There's two, three. There we go, one more right here. And then I'm just gonna pull that nice and tight so it can close up the top of my hat here. And then I'll want to just knot this securely just to make sure that won't open up at all. And then just find a couple stitches to weave this end into. I'm just gonna kinda go around the stitches here at the top of my knot just to make sure that this doesn't come apart. Just like that. I'm gonna cut that yarn off. Now here come the optional finishing pieces. Technically your Drexel beanie is all done. How cute, all those little bobbles. Now I prefer to top every single one of the hats that I make with a pom-pom. And I love these ones, I have a whole carton of them so I can put them on all of my hats forever. So I'm just going to string the tails through my tapestry needle and put them on either side of the very top of my hat. So this is the top hole. I'm gonna put it on one side of that hole and then the other side is gonna go to the opposite side of that hole so we'll have a nice sturdy base. Gonna find those strings on the inside, pull them taut right to the top of the hat, go inside the top, some people like to double knot it. I like to take my pom-poms off when I wash it, so I always tie it in a bow here at the top of the hat. 
so I don't have any issues getting the pom-pom off later. Then the very last thing that I'm going to do, because I'm not going to weave in this end right now because I don't feel like it, is I've got these cute little tags that I got from my friends at Angie and Britt. And I'm going to put a tag on my hat. And that is it, friends. That is my finished Drexel beanie. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial and for celebrating National Craft Month with me and Joanne. Once your hat is all done, make sure you snap a photo and share it with me on Instagram with the hashtags Drexel Beanie and TOYC Makers. And be sure to tag me at TO Yarn Crafts. This is Tony signing off. Happy hooking, friends, and I'll see you next time.